Hi dear friends. So let's talk about uh, the word compassion and what does it look like really to feel that uh, vibration of compassion towards yourself and towards other people. The first distinction I would like to give here about compassion is you have to really, really separate yourself from the mindset of blame and responsibility. Because every time we blame ourselves or we blame others uh, for whatever is showing up, uh, we go into a space of bashing them or bashing us. And that's an absolute unkind act. It's very, very important for each one of to understand that as uh, the human psychology develops in uh, our early childhood and our early nurturing years, due to uh, the core emotional and nurturance needs not met, uh, we end up being a certain way. And that happened to our parents, that happened to everybody on the planet. And it's important that we realize that whoever we've become or whoever they have become is really nobody's fault. So blame is not really going to work. Uh, like for example, if your dad had diabetes, right? Uh, it's not your fault that you have the diabetic blueprint in your genes, right? But it is your responsibility that you be mindful about not eating sweets and maintaining that and not ending up diabetes. Uh, because the possibility that you have the same gene is just a possibility. It's not a reality. Who can convert it into reality is the choices that you will make for your future. So it's very important to, for us to not become victims by blame and by uh, believing that we don't have a choice in our life. Compassion is an energy that really understands and comes from a place of true empathy where in our mind we tell ourselves that whatever anybody is doing, uh, it's really not their fault, but can we be mindful enough to have a communication with them, rather judge them and show them a possibility of what's going on inside of which they can take on personal accountability and responsibility to transform, shift and get to be a better person. But um, here my emphasis is not on them, it's on us. How many times have you been so unkind to your own self? How many times have you bashed yourself up just because you made certain mistakes? And uh, the whole idea is if you're trapped in blame game uh, and blaming yourself and being unkind to yourself, you will never, ever, ever see a possibility of growth. So my dear gorgeous souls, please understand no matter what happened to you from your childhood until now, no matter who you've become, you always have a choice to become someone else. And it's not really tough. It's not really difficult. Self-awareness is the key. And self-awareness starts with a self of personal accountability, responsibility, and understanding, first of all, by telling yourself that, listen, whatever is going on in my life is not my fault, but I'm definitely willing to change and become another person. Gorgeous friends, please understand you're not a tree. You are a human being. A tree is something that's stuck in one place and cannot change, cannot move. But you as a human being have momentum. Moment to moment, you have a choice to change, to become another person and another person. Your commitment to yourself and your responsibility to yourself should be, I want to be a better person than who I was yesterday. And every single morning, if you're waking up with this mindset, guess what? 365 days in a year, you're going to be 365 shades better and the growth never stops. Are you really willing to take on accountability and give up the blame? So it's a choice we make, accountability versus blame. So for you to really, really be mind, uh, have a compassionate mindset, it's important to go into the journey of your life of what really made you who you've become. Why are you an angry person? Why are you a sad person? Why are you a fearful person? Why are you so hardwired to a certain way of being? And there are many, many modalities, many self-help programs, which can help you rewire the hardwired programs of your brain. Don't function your life from your past programs. Because your past, if you're stuck in your past programs and they're driving your life and you're not aware, you will recreate a future based on your past.
and we as human beings are the highest conscious beings and we go, we have been blessed with the highest level of consciousness why would we not explore those possibilities and actually understand that life is a game and this game is changing its rules at every moment and you have to be in the momentum of the game it's like you know playing a video game and can you crush and once you kind of crossed one level you go to another level the rules change you know the game changes uh, the parameters are the same but something inside of the game changes right so it life is exactly like that you will keep shifting levels uh, one level two level three levels up and every level is going to be different and guess what every level is going to get tougher but then by the time you've reached the next level and the next level you've mastered the game and you've understood the secrets of life and that's when you can uh, become the master creator of your reality versus being a victim to life versus being a victim to your own behavior patterns to your own emotional patterns you are not your emotions you are not your thoughts yes my dear friends you are not your emotions you are not your thoughts you are that infinite soul who has the power to direct the emotions and the thoughts in its own direction and create new possibilities are you willing to understand this and get a grip on that aspect of you because if you become your thoughts and you become your emotions you will only end up being a victim to all of them and the whole idea of mastering life is just not a reality so step up to a lot of kindness compassion and play the game well learn the rules and nothing can stop you from being a winner love yourself love everybody love life zindagi achiye